everybody. In today's video, we are going to be working with eight cones. That's four on each side and a pole on each. And now on this series on video, we're going to be a little more complicated and we're going to work your horse at a trot and we're going to use this same pattern. I'm going to be doing patterns with four cones in a straight line and a pole on one end and four cones in a straight line and another pole on the other end. We're going to go through now, this configuration is also a great idea at a trot. Now, you can go up and down both lines, which I'm going to do, and I'm also going to go back and forth across the lines. The whole point of all of these exercises is you're using your outside leg that is going to be uh, button number two because you're really controlling the rib cage, and if one end or the other end of the horse goes, either use button number one in front of the girth or button number three behind the girth to control the hind quarters or the fore quarters as you need. Now, at a trot, you want to line your body up and find something straight, outside leg, and then, again, straight. If you're posting, you will change your diagonal in the center. And if you're sitting, you'll just sit through the trot. So, like I said, to make this more complex, let's start out at a posting trot. So, where am I for our diagonal? And we're going to use these corners. I'm just going to get control through the corner. Now she's not acting really well. We're just gonna get nice and soft. Over. And then for yeah. She is hollowed out and not acting well at all. So I'm gonna change tactics. You can use is hollowing out. You can also use the set of four cones on either side to make effective changes. So you can use these four cones to work on basically a figure eight, but a more square figure eight because you really want to make stronger corners. Soften up through the center. Soften. And let's kind of push you a little bit more forward. Huh? There we go. Once we've got her in kind of a happy medium, try to get more straight through the center. Now let's soften the other way. I'm going to I'm going to sponge that outside rein, soften her, come on, do that, if it gives your nose a little, there we go, now my goal has changed from working on the pattern to working on my horse, there you go, she's speeding up, Slowing down. And I'm just keeping going on the same little circle because she's not acting very well. Now I'd like to show you the eight cone and two pole pattern with another horse that we're focusing on something just a little bit different. We are actually using this same exercise to get the horse to round and carry themselves better. So, so mastering the, the line of cones at a trot is really, really a great exercise to determine how well your horse is rounding. Now in my case, 
What I'm really working on on Miro is getting nice and round and collected. And we're gonna use this exercise to have straight lines as well as nice tight turns. So we're gonna start off at a trot and we're gonna do a nice sitting trot. Now, as I come through the first set, straight, straight, round, I'm gonna indicate that I'm gonna start the turn and I'm gonna start my turn. That wasn't exactly where I wanted it to. You literally can spend hours just weaving in and out of these poles. You can use them at a walk, a trot, and eventually at a canter. You can use these as a figure eights, nice and square. Um, this configuration works really well for a lot of exercises. So give it a go and uh, see how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlist. We have a great playlist that has lots of patterns and obstacles.